All right, everyone, here we go with the July 2023 overview. It's a big month. It's its own animal. I wrote a huge blog write-up on it at sltblog.com. Read that. It's an important month. Um, there's a lot going on this month. You know, it opens with, I'm going to pull probably on Sunday on Neptune Retrograde. That's it's very important. I want to let it get, it's going in on, it's going retrograde on like Friday. But I want to let it kind of pick up the energy a little bit before I pull on it. It's an important underlaying energy of the month. It provides clarity. And clarity about specifically how we deceive ourselves. There's a lot going on. Mercury goes through three different signs. It starts in Cancer. By the end of the month, it's in Virgo. Just, it's a perfect storm for taking care of business. And with Venus going retrograde, yep, even Flemma agrees. And with Venus going retrograde, that provides sort of, that prevents ego. It knocks it back a little bit. It's, it's, uh, it humbles our emotions. So it's going to be hard for Burger King, the runner, I got to have it their way, ego, pride, all that, to stubbornness even, uh, to be the Burger King. It, they're sort of losing control a little bit, you know, um, hostile takeover energy. The second half of the month is dominated by the North Node. Not only does it uh, middle of the month change signs into Aries, speeding up our drive down Destiny's freeway, but also it has three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back tense squares with Pluto retrograde and Capricorn. Uh, it's a real punch in the gut if they're going to try to be the Burger King. I will tell you, if you just flow with this energy, it's like it's not even a car driving down the freeway of destiny on uh, cruise control. It's one of those cars that drives themselves. All right? It's just like that. It just flow with the energy. I can tell you from this pre-shuffle, these runners are not flowing with this energy. There's going to be a lot of punches in the gut. And you can do what you want. You know, nobody forcing anybody to flow with the energy. But that's, that's how you live a happy life. That's how you stay stress-free. Everybody's all stressed out out there in society. Because I watch them. I people watch. I study human nature. It's part of what I do. And I watch them all the time. And they're just going against the grain of what the energy is, you know, the energy's flowing this way, they're going that way. And it creates a problem. For these runners, we have a lot of stress here in the pre-shuffle. Let's get going. Please read my write-up on July. I know about 8,600 of you have already, so that's good. I like that. I don't write those for my health. But they do help clarify the month, which is a month of clarity, hyper-clarity, as I think I like to call it in this case. So it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Doesn't matter what your sign is. It's straight up energy reading. If you're here, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. As I wrote in my write-up on July, all readings are timeless because you're all moving at different speeds on Destiny's Freeway, on your timelines, shall we say, right? The road is there, but you know, sometimes you make wrong turns. Sometimes you get hung up on something, you know, slows you down a little bit because most people don't flow with the damn energy. That's why. Let's go. Pre-shuffle, ask the universe, give me July 2023, right? Uh, soulmate cycle. Five of swords, your person. All the way. Short-sighted, right? Just five of swords. They're always five of swords. Short-sighted, the short-term gains, false victories, self-sabotage, all of that. It's crossed by the five of wands. Still trying. Still trying to shortcut the gains. Still trying to be themselves. Still trying to be the Burger King. Under that. Four of Pentacles, holding back, stubborn, still trying to be the Burger King. Nine of Wands, holding back, stubborn, still trying to be the Burger King, but it's getting thin. Nine's of the end in tarot, and this wall looks pretty grown over. It's shit. You could just knock it over with your foot, right? Underneath that. Now we see a change. We see the High Priestess trying to push back what you can't push back, the emotions. Trying to control emotions. You can't. It's an illusion if you think you can, right? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Ten wands underneath that. Good luck trying to hold back that wall of emotions. Right? Tr good luck trying to be the Burger King. Now, underneath that is the King of Swords, my King of Action. It's somebody who just snaps and takes action. Underneath that, the Knight of Swords. And underneath that, the Hierophant. Very spiritual. Underneath that, why is the Hierophant here? Because of Ten Cups. Because they know damn well that they're not happy. And I think underneath the Ten of Cups is a fool. There's a fool energy somewhere in here. Oh, the King of Wands, moving away from it. There's your Burger King underneath it all, right? Moving away from that. That's where the fool energy comes in, right? 
And the fool is technically bookending this Five of Swords, where we started. This propensity for them to try to shortcut things, to try to have things their way, to try to be the Burger King. And they're going to try and try and try and try and fail and fail and fail and fail. It's punch in the gut. I'm telling you, this energy is not playing around. All right? And again, I don't want anyone thinking they're forced to do anything. Well, I don't want to live in a universe where I'm forced to, you know, whatever. You're always control. You all you've got is free will. You don't control the energy that's around you, and that's what most people need to freaking realize. All right, let's shuffle the deck. This first card out is why the fuck are we here? So why the fuck are we here? Well, after that pre-shuffle, I could tell why. That's pretty much July summed up in the surface energy. We're gonna go deeper, and I'm clarifying with the little version of the animal deck. This is a double animal deck reading. Mm as we call it around here, the animal deck. Someone out there is new and they're yelling, it's the wild unknown dummy. I know what it's called. We just call things what we call things here, right? But you're right, I am a dummy. Okay, here we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, why the fuck are we here? Before the cut, let's do it. Yeah. Five of cups. Being shown where we went wrong and then not doing anything about it is more depressing than just being shown where we went wrong. At least in that moment. When we're shown where we went wrong, in that moment, we have a choice, a free will choice. We can either do something about it, correct it, you know, try anyway, or we can do nothing. Uh, this is someone who's been shown how they went wrong many times and did nothing. There's an extreme sadness here. It's a horse, for God's sake. Sadness on the level of a horse, which is much bigger than a human being. Mm is my point. What comes after the cup? Knight of Cups. That will force some something to happen here. Uh, likely, anyway. Knight of Cups. Someone coming to tell you how they feel. This, this knight is ordered by the King of Cups. The King of Cups, in context with the runner, is their propensity to be afraid to be vulnerable. So somebody here, Knight of Cups. I don't think they stay a knight. I think they move to a page, but we'll see. Alright. So, yeah. Alright. Give me a reading. Give me the soulmate cycle universe for July. Say it like my dad used to say it. July 2023. A flew on the floor. On the fucking floor. I'm going to pick it up right now. It flew on the floor. It's a three of cups. Flew out of the bottom. Our overall energy is three of cups, the emperor, and a knight of wands. Do you think somebody's coming to tell you how they feel? Oh, I don't know. You don't even have to be an energy reader to know what this is. This is that emperor, that Burger King, pulling up their big boy, big girl pants, at least for a moment, and opening up about how they feel. But I think it's on multiple sides. I don't think it's just toward you. Our reading's on the flip. Let's go. Mm. Uh, energy around your connection is here. How they're behaving in the 3D is here. Their soul is here. Hidden energy message from the universe is here. It's red with the energy of your connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot pre 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 predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything and throw some universe cards at the end. I, if I think I need to extend this one, I will. I don't know yet. We're going to find out. If it's cut and dry, it's cut and dry. We'll see. I know, very rare that I wouldn't extend an over. I only extend when I have to. I ain't here to nickel and dime nobody. All right, But, but if I think I want to know more, I go ahead and extend it. So if there's a link in the description, well, it's there for you if you want it. Right here is the energy around your connection with this emperor coming to fucking open up. Open up. Three of cups. Flow of water is the over. Technically, flew on the floor. That's how much power is here. That's how much they've got to say that they held back. I'm not fucking around. All of this crosses that sad horse. I'm not fucking around when I say that was a big five of cups energy. All right? In, in the before the cut position. And that's why we're here. All right. Energy around the connection. Ten pentacles. Yeah. So, uh, there's a... The, the opportunity is there to fix things or at least get some closure, okay? This is opportunity energy that's around this. It's, it's the potential. The potential is there if this son of a bitch emperor can open up enough and doesn't hold back, doesn't try to fall back on Burger King. Got to have it their way, quiet. That five of swords we saw in the pre-shuffle, right? Which had a Burger King in it. It had the King of Wands. The King of Wands is the Burger King. An out-of-balance emperor who is a Burger King is just 
someone that's reflecting all King of Wands energy. If they can open up enough, the potential for Ten Pentacles is here. And that can just mean closure for some of you. It can. It can mean the whole deal. But it, it's either way, it's a beautiful energy. So the connection's nice. It's set. It's, it's like a beautifully set table with no food on it until somebody bring it. Um, how are they behaving in the 3D? Ace of Pentacles. They're behaving in the 3D like they have everything they need. And we've seen this before. Somebody behaving. It came up before in a reading I did a while back as a king of pentacles here. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I got everything I need. Yeah. Deep down, they want something else. So, again, with Neptune retrograde underneath all of this North Node activity and everything else that's going on in July that I wrote about and talked about here at the beginning of this video, uh, that Neptune retrograde is providing hyper clarity, huge clarity on where we deceive ourselves. So, again, somebody here wants a new beginning. I think it's a bit of a secret, but they do. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, it's taken them. Uh, all of that resistance we saw in the pre-shuffle is why is grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour holding up traffic for miles. Some of these runners just need a smack in the head. They're going to get one energetically this month if they keep trying to be the Burger King. Don't learn that lesson. Soul here. That's why I told you guys. Just flow with it. That's the only thing you have to do. Alright. Again, keep that. We've been talking about it for a good chunk of this year. Keep that K sera sera attitude. Whatever will be, will be. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever. However you need to phrase it for yourself. Soul energy here. Book end in ten pentacles. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. They're full, they're full of shit. Telling themselves that, that they're fine. I already have my ten of pentacles. I'm good. It's bullshit. There's a, again, but we saw it in the pre-shuffle. I went through the whole pre-shuffle with you trying to put up a block, trying to be the Burger King, trying to be the Burger King. I mean, it just try it. And the soul here, they're very attracted to this connection on one level. On another level, they're pretending that everything is fine, that they've already got their Ace of Pentacles, and I'm just going to you know, fix things on my side, and I'll be fine. They're not going to be fine. They're not. They're not going. This card, for me, tells me they're not going the right way, because this is phony energy here, right? Hmm. It's somebody who might say, and I'm not saying your person saying this, but when I get this, if I was pulling on a person and I got this in their soul position, it's somebody who thinks uh, that the soul is bollocks. You know, it's it's hooey, it's bullshit, right? It's a soul, there's no fucking soul. Science ain't found it yet, it doesn't exist. Well, that's bullshit. Scientists know it's there, they just can't find the goddamn frequency, that's all. All right, it's, a, it's also a different type of energy which we don't have anything that will really pick it up. All right. Hidden energy message from the universe. Red with the Ten of Pentacles. What's, what's the fickle old gal universe want to tell you? And yeah, she's a gal. It's judgment. Yeah. Um, this is separate. This has nothing to do with the Ten of Pentacles. This is like the universe is just talking to us. I'll just shuffle it off to the side while I tell you what it is. It's... The, it's about that table set that I mentioned here, but it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. Somebody here, you, these, this incoming energy I'm pulling on is going through a massive transformation. They're going through a dark night of the soul almost. It's not really a card that would indicate that, but I'm just trying to paraphrase the energy. They're going through a dark night of the soul almost without realizing it. Okay? So I think that's why the Ace of Pentacles is here too. I think they do, albeit slowly realize that they can't keep trying to be the Burger King. And July is just a month to do that, and especially in the lead up to Lionsgate, which is on August 8th and around August 8th, early August. Absolutely. Uh, what's the potential final outcome of all this? Uh, red with the Ace of Pentacles. Another circle. The world. Most powerful card I could pull. Something changes here. It's what I've been saying. Something's going to happen. Something changes. A, a new cycle begins because of this. I think it's because of some... I think the runners get a little bit real about their self-deceptions and things like that. I think that's why the pre-shuffle came out the way it did, where that nine of wands, nines of the end in tarot is placed. Somebody realized uh, I, I'm, the only one I'm fooling is myself. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, this should result in communication. It is the most powerful card I could pull. 
Um, and we know that anyway because the overall energy is three cups, the emperor, and communic it's, communi it's all communication here from the, the DM side, from the emperor, from the, someone who's normally a Burger King. Let's go. Randomly at the bottom of this deck is the strength card, by the way, the lion holding one of the roses from the two of cups. A card that we can't get rid of lately, the two of cups. I don't have it yet, but why is the uh, ten of pentacles here? I don't even know if it's necessary here. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Energy of your connection. Yep, it's a set table. It's beautifully set. That's the potential. If somebody gets real about their bullshit, and they will. I, they will because these energies are feedbacking. And the Queen of Wands never has a real Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is everything. It's the full package. You can't have the full package if you're a bullshit artist. If you're putting up pretense and you're phony. All that kind of stuff. It's always a facade. Why is the... Uh, Ten of Pentacles here. Why? 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 You see this card? Normally read with this. And I said it was separate from the reading. Yeah, here it is. It's, it's right there. It's all about this. The universe is like, I got this. This is God's source, the universe itself. Call it what you want, don't care. Whatever floats your boat. This is communication. I'm drawn to the multiple birds in the air. Um, I think it all works out okay. I think it all works out okay. It's a bit of a phoenix rising energy. The energy around this right now is the universe is, is op has opened, the, the opportunity is here, has resurrected this connection within your person, and they're still trying to shut it down, as we saw from the pre-shuffle. But we also saw that they can't, and this is proof of that. The most powerful card I can pull, the world. Arguably the most auspicious card in the deck as well. What's on top? Seven Pentacles. Yep. The, the table is set. Divine timing. The energy is right for this connection. The, 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 the connection is absolute perfection right now. It's absolute perfection. You'd be an idiot to walk away from it. Right? It's like a, a, it's like a buffet that nobody's touched yet. So you, don't, you know there's no germs on it. You know, no kid has sneezed near it yet. It's just you, you're the first one in the door, the only customer there. It's, you're probably not going to get sick. You know, it's like that. Why is the home spinning it a bit, but why is the seven pentacles here? I hate buffets. I hate them. Uh, ten of cups. Yeah, it's looking real good. What did I just say? It's looking real. Why is the seven pentacles here? Why is the energy just right? Because you just showed up at hometown buffet and you're the only customer there. No kid has sneezed on it yet. Nothing. It's all. They just brought it out. It looks good. The connection looks like that. It looks good. And there's an urgency. You would hurry up and get up there and get your food because there's customers behind you. You can see them parking the cars in the parking lot. There's something here that creates an urgency, but it's all, it also looks really tasty. All right? They're still trying to shut it down. Oh, and again, slowly but surely, I think the connection wins. I think something changes here within this person on a high level. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, why is it here? Oh. Ace of Pentacles. Why is it here? Ace of Pentacles. Why? <laughs> what I say? I said slowly but surely they're still trying to shut it down. They're still trying to shut it down. That's why this Ace of Pentacles is here. It's taking it a while because of their bullshit. The devil right there. Toxin always looks good. The bat junk food always looks good, right? The, the idea of a buffet even sounds like a great concept. All you can eat. Yeah, it's also, you know, and then you're going to need all-you-can-eat penicillin at some point afterward. But, you know, it's, it's that addiction energy again. And we've talked about it. It's here. I even mentioned it, I think, in my write-up in July. And people, whenever I say addiction energy, they, they, you, people forget that the same frequency of energy plays out many different ways. Addiction is actually three frequencies of energy as I've figured it out. And it's just, it's not just about substance abuse. It's about, you know, thank you, may I have another, right? Whoosh, thank you, may I have another. It's masochistic type energy. But you get addicted to the rush a little bit. This, this is why they're going slow. There's, they're used to sitting in toxin. And, and they got themselves convinced that it's fine, it's good. Just like anybody who's addicted to something, even if it's junk food, you get yourself convinced, well, other people die from living on fast food. I'm not. I'll be fine. My family is this, and we got this, 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 this. not necessarily. 
right? You know, again, it's a it's the devil on the shoulder telling you that it's it's not true. You're not fine. Uh, what's and they're not fine, all right? And they're figuring that out slowly. I know this because the world's here. What's on top? Temperance. Yeah, they're figuring it out. Uh, they're figuring it out. It's it's a. I get it now. It's Archangel Michael. It's truth, right? Truth balances things. Balanced energy is happiness for us in the 3D. Truth isn't always palatable. It's not always something that you want to hear. It's not. And the devil, devil energy never tells you the truth. Devil energy tells you what you want to hear. Right? Toxic friends, toxic whatever, toxic relationships, toxic things you tell yourself. Neptune retrograde is making us aware, including these runners, of all the ways we deceive ourselves. That's proof of it. That's angel energy. That's the angel. It cancels out the devil. Devil energy is just static. It's just like static uh, electricity, like rubbing your feet on a carpet. It shorts out real easily. Uh, devil, uh, angel energy is like goo. It just coats it and shorts it out. Right? All right. Mm. Why is the temperance here? Six of swords. Because they are, they are moving on, on from it. They're moving on from this. They're slowly but surely. This is the third slowest energy. It's another slow energy. They're figuring it out. Could have just as easily gotten a knight of pentacles here. But I'm glad the universe gave me the six of swords. Because again, that's somebody who is not only moving on to calmer waters, but they realize they've been in choppy waters. They're putting down the chop. Bullshit. You know, the choppy water was that five of wands crossing that five of swords in the pre-shuffle. Okay? Now let's get into this. This bullshit artist here. Talk, talk to me about the Queen of Wands and the soul. I think this is changing too. But I think this, this relates to the devil. Because this phoniness comes over here. The flow, the flow is 5D to 3D. And it comes over there. right? And they believe it. You believe what the devil says. I always do devil energy. Devil energy is a con man. Con woman. Don't, don't want to alienate anybody. It can go either way. You know. Uh, the best, plo the, the best poker players use, have learned how to manipulate devil type energy. Right? So they, you don't know. They're, they're basically sitting there. They have no tell. They can read your tells. They can do all that kind of stuff. They've just, all they've really done, energetically speaking, is there's someone who, for some reason, can control that devil type energy. They become a bit of a con man or con woman sitting there at the poker table. Huh? That's why it's a game of skill. But it's also, I think, the best players have something special about them. They're energy readers in a way, maybe without realizing it. Or energy manipulators, more like. Mm. All right, Queen of Wands. But you have to be careful because it's, it's also an addiction energy. And there's gateways, right? It, 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 the negative energy feeds itself. You have to be careful. So it would be very easy for some great poker player who can manipulate all that type of energy to then become a con man, start ripping people off and things like that. It get, things always escalate, right? Let's see. Let's see where we go here. If you allow them to spiral out of control. If you don't control them, that is. Why well, is the Queen of Wands here? I'm still shuffling. I'm running out of shit to say. Uh, yeah. The Four of Pentacles. Um, one of the things... It, I'll talk about in particular Neptune Retrograde just because it is the where a lot of the clarity is originating from. Someone here is figuring out that it's their own bullshit that holds them back. Okay. They're afraid to change. They're afraid to put this down. They're afraid to be real because it's some, I see this a lot with people who don't want people to see who they really are. They're afraid that if people saw who they really are that they wouldn't like them. You know? So they put on an act. They go through their life playing a character of sorts. This person is seeing how that holds them back. Okay, The environmental energy is probably a lot to do with Neptune retrograde but also the North Node activity is showing them who they really are and that it's okay maybe to be you know because it, yeah, maybe it is okay to eat at a buffet maybe it is okay to go over to that soulmate connection right that kind of thing all right let's see where we go what's on top knight of wands yeah they're moving on from it i said i felt like they're moving on from that they are it's a knight of wands it's not a real you know it's it's a brave impulsive action somebody is I would respect this person if they show up just on the level of it's taking a lot for them because they don't want to. You see through them, okay? That's what makes them nervous. You see who they really are. 
and they're afraid to show that to people and that makes them nervous because you can see through their facade right so it's brave for them to come out and come away from this they're afraid to they are with that four of pentacles there what's why is the knight of wands here four of cups yeah. because they really want it right because they again they rejected it why are they why are they taking a brave action to move on from this because something they rejected they actually want it's made them very sad uh, a, a better picture here might have been the girl on the uh, light seer deck in the four of cups that sad girl i would say she looked like she's poop, pooping in the yard right looking at the three broken cups all sad and stuff it's like that there's a lot of that there's more sadness popping in it's not really uh, it's just somebody now wants what they didn't want and they're willing to take a chance because of how the energy of the connection is reflecting but it's it's more than that it's it's everything that's happening july is its own animal and i said that i've said it many times unreal okay so good they are moving on from that but we do learn that they're afraid to show anyone who they really are right afraid to show anyone the depth of who they are but you saw through it so that's scary that scared the living shit out of them right. and that does that's why i scare some people they know i can see through their bullshit they just pick up on it you know something about my eyes someone said to me once yeah well maybe they're pretty big uh, but they do cut through right at the end of the day when i was a kid because your eyes are always the same size even when you're a little kid as they are when you're an adult i i, I looked like a fucking owl uh, huge giant eyes looking kid unreal but people used to say i've been saying that since i was a kid you can see through them it always makes them nervous if they're hiding something these runners are hiding who they really are wow flying out of the deck yeah three of pentacles flew out of the deck crossing card is their five of swords again the universe is trying to cure them of this this is where we started with the pre-shuffle from the big animal deck the universe trying to cure them of this short-sightedness this nonsense hey by showing them everything by making them feel this showing them this and and showing them this phoniness and how it holds them back right and and again the angel is canceling out the devil that's crossing here it's taken a long time and it still will even this month they're going to try and fight it we know that from the pre-shuffle but this five of swords crossing here uh you know again underneath that is two swords it puts them at a crossroads because of this this is very powerful energy this is god's source the universe itself saying hey take another look take another look maybe it'd be better to uh try this again see, see if you can get a rewind and build something on the, on a solid foundation they definitely want this connection this is red with the seven of pentacles that divine timing which is just a fancy way of saying the energy is right for something to happen environmental energy they definitely under this energy this connection looks really good to them okay why is the three pentacles here why did it fly out because somebody coming eight wands because it looks really i just got done saying the connection looks really good to them under this energy so why is this here why all of a sudden now they want to try again and build on a solid foundation resurrect this thing right get a second chance because it's it's just someone pushes forward on their happiness for a change their actual happiness when you have the ten of cups on top of ten pentacles this can sometimes be a little fairyland but this makes it real this is very real they have a very real happiness they feel for this connection so again they're getting real this queen of wands is getting real it is a brave impulsive action for them though you know it's not it, that's why i say they probably show up as a page still it wouldn't surprise me but this is a strong forward moving communication energy all right it's it really is now let's pull on the world our final outcome is the world something changes here something's different something happens okay and i can see yeah i got an angel right there archangel michael kicking the devil's ass and somebody moving forward with what's really gonna make them happy the universe backed it up right here but again they see these energies are about how we deceive ourselves and they're being shown that they're being shown that this queen of wands fakey mcfakerman holds you back being the burger king holds you back being short-sighted holds you back right and and in, and in order to do that you have to give someone contrast well that's all great but what you know it's giving them contrast by showing them how great this connection is making them feel it on a high level oh it was ten pentacles it was you know there's a lot of feelings that they've held back let's go tell me about the world why is the world here why 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 
I can't wait till Sunday to pull on the damn Uranus, uh, uh, Neptune, sorry, Neptune retrograde. I always, I keep calling it Uranus. It's really funny because I, the reason I keep doing that is I think Neptune retrograde this particular year, especially during the month of July, Neptune, uh, Uranus tends to have a little bit of unpredictability to it. And I think it's, it's, it's not a very predictable Neptune retrograde as it normally is. Um, again, July is its own animal. The emperor crossing the world. Yep. So, somebody here pulls up their big boy, big girl pants and speaks up. This is a balanced emperor. It is not the Burger King. It is sitting on top of the world. All right. Something changes. A new cycle happens. Something new happens here. We see it here with the Six of Swords for sure in Temperance. Uh, what's on top? There's my page. Page of Swords. Somebody here, once they have a realization of all of this in this new energy, this emperor, um, this is why it's just a brave, impulsive action. This is why the Knight of Wands is here, which can be a little bit emotional immaturity. Um, somebody feels really stupid. Okay? You, in, in a way, and I, I don't want you to run with this and take it the wrong way. Okay? I have to exaggerate to talk to a, a wide audience. But in a way, you make them feel stupid. Your whole life is real. Their whole life is fake. When fake people realize, fake people never like real people. Because it scares the shit. Show, you show them how fake their life is. Right? That's why you sometimes reflect this King of Swords. The King of Swords, King of Wands and King of Swords don't get along. The King of Swords thinks the King of Wands is a phony asshole and the King of Wands fucking knows it because every time he's around the King of Swords, well, you know, they see it. You know, the King of Truth, the King of Action, someone who actually does shit and is real. You make them feel stupid a little bit. Um, it is communication. They are afraid they're going to disappoint, but I don't think they care. It's red with temperance. I think this feeling that's in between here that I was just talking about, feeling stupid is a good way to phrase it, has to happen. Why is the uh, Page of Swords here? The nine of, nine of Pentacles. Again, I've got a freedom. I've got a liberation energy read with a basically a liberation energy. The Six of Swords moving on from choppy waters and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've got communication here on a high level. Somebody needs to do this. What the whole month of July is making them realize is they need to make some changes. Not just want anymore. It's need. At, by the end of the month, it'll, and believe me, they're going to fight it every step of the way. It won't be smooth. They're going to get their ass kicked by the energy so much every time they try to fall back on Fakey McFakerman or being the Burger King uh, that they're going to realize that they need to make some changes. That without even watching Steve's Love Tarot, they're going to know that the core energy has changed. It's different. And that's what this card is representing. And I wrote about that in the July write-up. I said these astrological alignments, these special reads I do, astrology just pulls, the alignments just pull on the core energy, right? But because of we have a lot of new core energy, we're in new energy, new things are going to happen. It's actually the core energy is amplifying the uh, astrological uh, alignments quite a bit. All right, quite a bit. It's knocking a lot of things out. You know, even major astrology websites are having trouble. Ones that use an algorithm. I got, I got, I got a uh, when I put up the Mercury and Cancer reading the other day. Uh, I got I got a note of somebody sent me a, a tweet thing that you know I'm wrong. Mercury is in Leo, right? I said what What the hell are you talking about? No, it isn't. Uh, and they said, well, uh, horoscope. Another one mentioning this horoscope or horoscopes.com in their write-ups. You know they do a, a, a horoscope and then they do a general thing that you can click into. You know for for everybody what's going on with astrology. They say that Mercury is in Leo. Uh, kind of a thing like that. Yeah, their algorithm is completely off. It doesn't surprise me. I think we jumped the timeline at some point. It's going to throw off any phony ass. You should never be getting your astrology from a website that uses an algorithm in the first place. You should be getting it from astrologers, people that are writing your horoscopes straight up. You don't want some auto-generated piece of shit, right, that's on some kind of algorithm on a website. It doesn't surprise me that their algorithm is off. So I'd stay the fuck away from that website if I was any of you, because it's wrong. It's not what's going on. Um, and stop writing into me about it and telling me Mercury's not in Cancer. It most certainly is. All right, that's it. We got communication here. I'm just telling you, these are powerful times. It's very strange, and July is its own damn animal. Um, all right. 
Let's pull three cards from the bottom and see what else the universe wants to tell you. We had a devil here. That's good. That bodes well for an extended. Uh, still, I'm not sure if there's an extended or not. Let's see. I have no idea yet. I have no idea. But, I, I, you know, again, I'm, I'm about to do your sign fly through. Again, watch all 12 because it's just I'm just splitting the soulmate cycle into 12 pieces like I do on the weekly readings. Uh, it's just instead of one little section of cards, I do a whole reading for each piece. And then we get the whole thing adds together. And that's why I do this overview reading to kind of pre-add it all up. But uh, I'm about to do the Zodiac fly through. This is going to be a hell of a month. And there won't be any extendeds on those readings. So let's see what, what we need to do here. Do you know? Let's see what the universe has to tell you with three cards from the bottom. Magician, four of cups. And there's that five of cups again from the before the cut. Why the fuck are we here? And I've got, again, five pentacles. We get this a lot with your person. Intentionally leaving themselves out on things. This, this addiction energy, this masochistic almost I love it when I when I deny myself something I really want and that's because of this fakey McFakerman in the soul in part that they do that but it is that devil too it's that it's that addiction type energy you get addicted to the rush of rejecting things that would make you happy you know there are people out there like that and if it's not your person you either may not know think about their actions here you know maybe it is maybe it isn't but it's good to know that there are people out there like that. It could be future influence for you. Anyway, this Five of Pentacles with this Four of Cups, which is tied to this Four of Cups over here in the soul position here in the base energy, tells me that somebody here is almost enjoys this. Like I said, there's almost an enjoyment of it. And there it is. There's the liberation. Now, under this energy, they're being shown that and kind of asking themselves, why do I enjoy leaving myself out in the cold? I only end a sad horse. This is some kind of karma playing out on the runner's side. And this energy of this, of this magician here, which I sometimes read as a karmic type energy, uh, is tied to something else on their side too. Uh, it could be a way they were raised. It could be a person they're with. It could be a marriage. It could be anything like that. Or it could be somebody they were with in the past. Something along those lines. And that energy stuck with them. Um, under this energy, I think they get past it. I think that's why there's a lot of communication here. This came back again. Again, it's about regret and then doing something about it for a change rather than not. Because what's happened is, because regret is kind of a negative energy, well, not kind of, it is, it feeds itself. So it grows and it grows and it grows. And this connection's looking so good right now. I don't know if I'm going to pull an extended or not. Um, I need to know what that other energy is. It'd be all around this and the devil for sure, if I do. Um, I'm going to pull some side reads offline, and I'll, I'll decide if I'm going to do it extended. If I d you'll know what my decision is because there'll be a link in the description. I do not know at this time. That's why I'm saying this. So if there's a link for an extended and you want it, I would click it, because I, I'm not, especially because I'm not sure. So it's probably pretty interesting. Uh, but do what you want, of course. Anyway, it's there if you want it. I hope this reading was helpful. Stay tuned for my Zodiac fly-through, Aries through Pisces. All right? Remember, everything matters. I'm pulling on a cycle. It doesn't really matter what's in your chart. I'm not your astrologer. This ain't your horoscope. I'm just splitting the soulmate cycle into 12 readings. That's all. Uh, and you're all part of the cycle. That said, I hope this reading was helpful. I hope you all take my advice for July and just flow with it. Really, you, you, it's fine. It's like the car drives itself. But if you try to fight it, you might get a punch in the gut. But hey, that's your free will decision. You can decide to do that if you want to. All right? We don't control what energies come in. So, that said, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Now, I'm going to pull some side reads. And if there is an extended, the link is in the description. Good luck.